All right, uh, Mr. GK, here out here around the northeast end of Georgia where it's scorching hot. Get on into the summer area now, summertime. Anyway, we have a nice little GK200 Toshiba Build B biased. I uh, actually did uh, one of these with my girlfriend. Uh, we ain't quite come up with a handle for her yet. We playing around with a little couple of uh, names. But anyway, uh, I built a little uh, paint, a blue painted, painted here at the house, not candy painted at the shop. A little two pill Toshiba B bias box where I laid the uh, the diode over the pill to help with tracking, temperature tracking. And uh, a guy, I had, I had two people hit me up almost identically wanting the box. And the guy that did not, that came in second, still wanted that identical build. So we went ahead and did that for him here, but took it a little a little further. Went ahead and uh, painted the board for him. And uh, did a couple other things in here a little different than I did the other one. We also dropped a little LED down there for him because I did not have any more LED lit, lit fans. These type of fans are kind of unique they got a high low medium switch on them where is it at right here you probably can't see it in the camera it's right there i just mounted the switch on the fan you can kind of see it back there and just put it on high i don't even know why they have that anyway the fan's not fast enough to need a high uh low medium switch equipped with the russian variable that's all i use as y'all know i'm so glad people, uh, people ain't found out where i'm getting them from <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and buy them out so I can dry out the supply. Because, good God, these variables are nice. Way stronger than the ones uh, that, I, that, I, that I was using. But anyway, uh, we dropped the uh, relay on the back wall with some 50-pound uh, tape. That thing will not be coming down there, coming off there in the next 40 years. Hopefully. <laughs> And uh, with this one, I did a little different. On the last one, you'll notice I put the uh, the bias relay, the switching relay up front right here, which required me to run two more wires this way. I'm sitting there thinking, uh, I don't know why I did that. If I put it here, the wires are going to be shorter. But then I did notice things did start to get crammed right here in the back. But we made it work. Honestly, if I had my choice... If I build another bias two pill like this, I would rather put it in a five pill cabinet. Either a five pill cabinet or one of the new four pill cabinets uh, I've seen ICA using. They I don't think they've started selling them yet, but they're a little bit bigger than the small four pill cabinets. And um, I'd punch that hole out for a 120 millimeter fan probably, and and, and use that. It'd give me a little bit more room to play around with, but. But anyway, she turned out great. This is a great looking box. Um, I gotta always give the shout outs, y'all. First person I ever seen painting the board was Mr. D, 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 one, two, three. Oh, Danny, one, two, three out there around the shot town area. So I, I don't know, man. I may just give a shot, uh, a shout out to him on every single painted board build I do from here to the end of time or I may just uh, slowly start fading out with the shout outs because uh, from that point on I think he'll, he'll know that uh, I, I appreciate the idea because <laughs> he's the first one I've seen it and uh, seen do it and I remember the very first build I ever attempted to do that with was with a one pill an orange one pill from my boy Andy out there in the New York area. I don't know where he's at now. He's been moving a lot. But anyway, let me quit talking. That's one thing I do well is talk, 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 talk. Let's get this thing hooked up. Whenever I do a bias box like this, I'll class C it and tune it. Get it real close. And then I'll go ahead and uh, check the bias circuit. Make sure it's working. All right, we got the ground uh, hooked up right here to the, to the back just to get a ground. I'm just going to show you what the bias voltage is doing when it's kicked on. Oh yeah, I didn't think about having a, not having two hands here. Uh -oh. Here, I'm just going to key it on and touch it like this. You got it. We're looking for 0.38 to 0.4 volts after I turn the amp on. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're looking for. Dot three nine, dot four volts. Perfect.
That is on a flat out 15 volts. The lower you go down in volts, that number will go down a little bit, but we're right there in between AB and about half of AB. So an AB circuit is going to be around 0 0.7, 0 0.68, 0 0.7. We're right here about 0 0.39, 0 0.4. A little bit more forgiving, doesn't get as hot. Something kind of neat. A biased up box is always going to get up and go with less drive because there's there's bias to the to the base of the transistor. They're a little bit more in high Q, and um, it was doing over 250 watts peak with uh, three watts uh, drive by 18 watts peak drive going into it, and uh, it was doing 80 bird. Well, as soon as I uh, hooked up the bias to it from C to A to B. It, it picked up 20 more bird watts, and you can tell it's doing a lot more peak. I hadn't put the uh, 500 watt slug in yet, but here's what we're looking at. And the input is almost virtually flat. Here's the input. Oh dear, look at that. We're, we're talking about a sea hair of movement. Oh dear. And I'm not gonna tell you what the C stands for, but it's a sea hair of movement, friends. That's called a beautifully input tune. Beautiful. 250 watt slug. Go oh, off the Richter. 1000 watt slug. This is my uh, weak 1000. It doesn't show as much as my other 1000, but who cares? Go oh, right there about dead nuts on 100 bird. Go oh, right there at it. All right. Let's go ahead and take this 250 out and put my 500 in. So just with my uh, three watt RMS swinging about 18, 16, 18 PEP, middle scale, we're getting go oh, goodness. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting about 280, 300. I wasn't expecting that, man. This thing is smoking, son. Go. Oh, that thing is smoking right there about 330, 340. Son, that's all I drive in this box. If this box was mine, I'd hit it just like that. Beautiful driver. This this box right here would be a beautiful driver for steel, for glass, for MOSFET, for other BJT boxes. I mean, this is a beautiful driver. You got you're biased. You know, if you if you got a, a steel ceramic tube, thing's gonna be biased. It's gonna be in AB bias mode, pretty sure. You got you a biased driver to go into your biased box. You put in a Class C into a biased box, it isn't going to be as clean sounding. That's why one of the most clean sounding boxes you'll hear out there is uh, Mr. Prime. I'm not going to guess what his driver is, just watch some of his videos. But he's biased, man. He's got clean, good, linear sounding audio. And that's what you want out there, man. That's what you want. All right. I just want to see what this thing's talking. If I'm out there just talking, letting the mop flop. About 300, about three G's out here on this B bias, letting the mop flop out here around the northeast and that you <laughs> All right, well, just for the fun of it, we are going to uh, go ahead and hook up the stick man cover 29. That's that ugly looking radio right there. It don't matter the way it looks, no matter how it works. And that circuit inside is a beautiful circuit. God bless his soul, man. God, I miss stick, man. I, I catch myself watching these videos all the time. So we're going to uh, a little bit more and double our drive here from uh, uh, 3 watts to 8. And give it a little bit more PEP drive as well. Be right back. All righty. Just hooked up the old stick man cover. 29. We should be seeing probably about 4 to 450. That's what the last one did. All righty. Oh, what in the heck? Son, have I ever had a two pill do 500 off the goddamn Richter? Without a driver, I do not know if I have or not. Sorry for my outburst, but goodness gracious, that is crazy. Oh, that is off the goddamn scale. What in the heck? What is it doing RMS? Ooh, it 
is almost doing 200 bird already. I normally get about 150, 160. This was at 180. Let me see. Ooh, right there at 180. That is crazy, man. Some boxes just work out that way, y'all. I mean, I can sit here and build two two pills identically to each other, and one's gonna sit there and do 450. Another's gonna sit there and do 500. I got to put my one kilowatt slug in, man. Where is it at? There it is. I got to see how much this thing is doing. Let me put my one keg. You know, once you get to the end, your most inaccurate readings are going to be from right, right here, from right here on the slug. These are going to be the more accurate, if that makes any sense. So this is a 1,000 watt slug, PEP. -E Let's see what it's showing on my 1,000. Oh, so it's showing about... 420 on my 1000. So that's probably a little bit more accurate. Oh, or is the other one more accurate? Who knows? But that's me giving you. I've always used this. Uh, so you know what stuff does on your bench with the tools that you use. And I always use the 500 watt slug when I'm working with two pills. And they don't ever do this. No, oh, that is not what they do. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what a four pill does when I'm hitting it without a driver and just hitting it with a radio. But I'll have to go back and look. I do not recall getting that much out of a two pill. I'm going to go back and look at that last one I did. That is remarkable. I'm very happy about it. Sorry about the outburst. I know it probably makes me sound about stupid as stupid can be but hey this is this ain't scripted man a lot now sometimes i'll key up something before i press the record button when i switch in and switch out this time i didn't sometimes I just let it roll with the flow you know so sometimes i do sometimes i don't this time i didn't i was just honestly thinking i was going to be seeing about four or 450 somewhere around there not off the dang 500 watt slug like that that is amazing i'm very happy for you bud we can go ahead and hook the derail radio up after this, man. You'd be doing over 200 plus bird, and good God, I don't know what the heck be on the peak even higher. But this thing's working great, man. Drive it. Don't drive it too hard, man. This thing will last you. You know how much these Toshibas are worth. And yet, by the way, these are used Toshibas with a good high HFE. We're up and around the 20. I ain't going to say high, but high for used. We're up around 28 on the HFE of these, so they're... They're, they're still very good and usable, as you can see. And uh, there ain't nothing that odd about building new boxes with the Toshibas now these days in this time that we're in now because of how scarce they're becoming and how expensive they are. He wanted a Toshiba build. Of course, he didn't want to pay $200 a piece for them to have brand new ones. But, I mean, no, the only way you're going to find them now is from people that's bought them and still have them. But, uh, man, this is, a, this is a pretty build. I don't brag much about my work because just that ain't my style, but... I did, I did pretty good on this one. I like it. And I, you always hear me say in all my videos, man, I'm going to do myself one of these one day. I'm going to do my dang self one of these one day, I swear to you. Or I'm taking this and running to Mexico with it. We'll see you. <laughs> but one of these days, I am going to do me, do me one. It probably ain't going to be painted or nothing. But I'm about to be back on the air, y'all. I don't know when y'all actually see this video because all my other videos people are actually seeing right now are all the way back to three years old. But uh, maybe by the time you actually see this video, everybody, I'll be on the air and some of y'all done talk to Gatekeeper again because I ain't been on the air in about three years. That's what happens when you get so goddamn backed up that all you can do is stay on the bench and not have no fun. You gotta, you gotta uh, self-limit yourself and and make you know and, and push yourself and not let yourself play to work's done all right let me get the top on this thing i think we'll come back right uh, back one more time for a quick video shot with the top on and i just got through it one more time here just a simple two pill bias box here's your back and i I, don't, I can't believe i almost forgot to even mention this what the heck is wrong with me this box was built by me and my girlfriend. She soldered, I would say, close to about 70% of everything that's in here. Because uh, she, she did get a little under the weather at, towards the end of the build. And she wasn't able to work as much on it as the last one. 
I'd say probably about 65, 70 percent of everything in here she soldered herself, man. It's me right here just walking her through everything. Girls are more uh, steady with their hands, is what I've heard. Heard? I've heard that, man. I've heard that the girls are more steady with their hands. What you think? <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Well, there she is, man. I'm not going to put the screws in it yet because I want to take a couple more shots from the other end. And I don't want to have to piece this video together because it's all been done in one one take. But there's your bottom. I have been actually putting screw-on feet on these build, on these cases here recently. You know, i got to drill my own holes to do that because the holes are not there. In the past, I've done stick-on feet. Those will fall off eventually. So, I mean, it's best just to go ahead and drill. Kind of wish they'd put them on there anyway, but when you got a painted box like this, you gotta have feet, man. This bottom's gonna get tore up. It's gonna get tore up pretty badly. Oh, but there she blows, man. Just a, just a nice little two pill, nice little driver. Should last you a long time. And I went ahead and put some pretty long cable for you. And uh, I'm not saying this is gonna be 100%. But I'm, uh, I possibly, possibly, it's a possibility that I may be getting sponsored by these guys, man, because I, I'm in love with their cable and, uh, I'm waiting, uh, negotiating a couple of things now. I'm waiting to hear back on the second email now. But, uh, yeah, put you a good, good amount of cable on there for you, brother. So he'll be straight. And this guy right here, man, has uh, made me some custom fan grills, which I'm very uh, hi highly appreciative of, which I uh, can't wait to get them and, and use them. And, uh, yeah, I noticed we have a little bit of runoff on the clear right there. I ain't no professional painter by no means, but she looks great, man. You can find a little blemish here and there on about any box you see out there. All right. On to the next, y'all. Got this 12. I need to, that's why I was going to apologize for the bench here, too. I, I had to move a build that I was currently building to get this bad boy done, which I actually built it over here, but we just did a little swip swap there so I can make this video real quick. So that's why the bench is quite messy, but hey, a lot of my videos are that way, ain't it? It's hard to keep a clean bench when you're doing a lot of work. We'll see you. Bye-bye. God bless y'all. 73rd.